Fishing the audio I'm up in all the stores When it rains it pours She like the way I Hey guys, it's Night Diamond here and I'm back again with another video If this is the first time you see my face On your screen, make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button Smash the like button, turn the notification on So you miss any I post And that's only to be part of Diamond Squad Go back up right now and give this video a like Make sure you guys go and watch the video I posted earlier I posted it like at midnight So please make sure you got Oh, did I post it at midnight? No, I posted it at 11. So technically, I posted it yesterday. So make sure you guys go and watch that video. Link in the cards and in the in the screen. Also, make sure you guys follow me on my TikTok. My TikTok is in the description box. The link to it is in the description box. So make sure you guys go and follow me on my TikTok. Help me get some more followers, guys. Share my video also. Share this video. Um. So yeah, I just... I washed my hair today. So my hair looking a little bit shorter than normal. This is why I hate shrinkage. Like, if you have shrinkage, yeah, you can relate to me because you know it looking really short right now. I'm not liking it, you know. But yeah, um, I have shrinkage, so that's why it looks shorter than it would usually look. But anyways, today I'm gonna review for you guys some new Shot Miss A products. These are one of the new products. I haven't bought anything from them in so long. But if you're not familiar with Shop Miss A, Shop Miss A is basically um, a brand that's in Texas. Um, they sell all their products for a dollar. The only thing you want to see for a dollar are stuff that come in bundles or an eyeshadow palette. That's the only thing you want to see for a dollar. But they do sell makeup, they sell hair accessories, all types of things. They sell jewelry. Yeah, but. The makeup is a dollar. The only time you wouldn't see the makeup is a dollar. Like I said, it's either in bundles or whatever the case is. But I got these all for a dollar, a dollar and fifty five cents. Um, the original, the the older products like the older products like this and the setting powder are just a dollar. So yeah, these are more like a dollar fifty five. So anyway, so I got the foundation, the primer, and the liquid concealer. There's a whole bunch of primers I do want to try from them, but the ones I want to try are soaked out, so I cannot try them yet. But I picked up this one because this is a hydrating face primer, and I love a good hydrating primer. I don't really buy primers like that because I don't really wear primers. Like, I literally have the Fenty Beauty primer, and I hardly even put it on my face. But, um... This is cruelty free, so this brand is cruelty free. This has a 12 month shift life. Knowing me, I'm probably gonna finish this quick, but um, yeah. So I am gonna put the primer on, that's why I got no makeup on my face besides the concealer I have going on right here. But let me just see. I don't know. Um, okay, this is it. Okay, let me just go ahead and put. Okay. So. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've used um, primer and it's been a minute since I've shopped for Shop Miss A because a lot of y'all know, like, I have so much things from Shop Miss A. I used to do so much um, reviews and stuff on my channel about Shop Miss A, so it smells, it smells really good. I mean, honestly, compared to the e.l.f. hydrating primer, the e.l.f. one to me is a lot more hydrating. You feel like a more cooling effect on your face than this one. This one, it feels nice and soft on your face. A little bit sticky, but not as sticky as much. But we'll see how it is, you know, with the foundation on top. So this is one of the new foundations. They do have another one that is like in a glass bottle. Um, I do want to try that one out too, so when I do purchase that, I will be trying that one out. I was waiting for them to come out with foundation. They did come out with setting spray too, but that sold out, so can I get my hands on that? I took way too long to purchase it, so. Um, yeah, so. Alright. I know we don't read the ingredients with these things, but I know we should. But it's more like a squeezy tube, and I'm going to squeeze it onto this brush. And this brush, I forgot to clean it. I forgot to clean my foundation brushes. So, yeah. We're gonna just have to do it like this. Okay. If it could just get down. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, she thick. All right, thick. So I got the shade um soft tan. So hopefully this isn't too light for me because this is looking too light for me already. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. So from the eyeshadow I have, there was like glitter, like shimmers from the eyeshadow. And now I have a whole bunch of that on my face. Great. Oh yeah, this is definitely too late for me. But I'm just... Uh, you know, that was the face I made when the first time I got one of the concealers. Because this is like the second concealer I have from them. Oh yeah, by the way, there is a primer that goes with this concealer and the foundation, but that's sold out, so. But, mm, I don't know. I think I put too much as well. I think it's supposed to be full coverage, but my gosh. I don't really like the smell, but yeah, this is definitely not my color. Yeah, if not, it's like... It looks like a little bit yellow and uh, I don't know about these guys. I mean, maybe once I put the bronzer on my face and I fix everything, everything will be fine. But I don't know how I feel about these. I mean, <sighs> of course, this will probably happen because I. Somehow, when I order foundations online, I, I tend to get the wrong shade for whatever reason. I thought the soft hand would go with me, but it is like yellow. It is yellow. Because in the Maybelline one, I go with the shade Toffee. The Fenty one, I go with the shade 360. And then, it also the only ones that actually go with me, like... My other foundations are either too light or too dark. And yeah, but this this is definitely matte on my face. But you know, I don't really I, I could try to make this work. I could try. It's not oh, it's said to shake it. Maybe that's why it was so thick on my face. Yeah, sometimes I don't read directions. Yeah, I'm sorry. But it's too late for that now. Alright, so I'm going to try the concealer on the top. Come on. Okay, the concealer. Looks like that. Let me just add some under my eye. Oh, now imagine that just flew into my eye. Oh. No, 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 Okay, the concealer shade is not bad. I did a good job on that. I got the shade um, Light Ivy, which I normally don't get that shade as a concealer shade. I usually get the shade Nude or Medium as a concealer shade, but not bad. Not bad. And the concealer, honestly, this concealer feels a lot better than the old one. Because if you have shot from Shot Miss 8 before and you um have tried the old one, see the old one? The old one would literally like dry up so quickly. This, you can work with it a lot better than the other one, honestly. The other one I will only use if I'm doing a particular artwork on my face. I will use that on my face. But other than that, I wouldn't use the other one for any other reason. But it is not bad at all. It is not bad. Let me just... And I don't mind the whole tube thing at all either. So, that's a plus for me. But, yeah, some... I mean, for a dollar, it's not bad. Like I said. But it is a little bit sticky. Um, I wish I had the primer that goes with them. Because I think the primer that goes with them would it you know be a lot better on the face with it 
but oh yeah this is called pro wear this is this is pro wear and this is full coverage foundation so yeah it is pretty full coverage so if you do buy this guys do not put a lot on your face like i did because i put way too much on my face but it did cover my face really well it for a foundation that's a dollar it honestly covered my face really good that is definitely full coverage i give that a plus the concealer i really like too i might just buy more of this concealer honestly because i tend to finish my other concealers so quickly and it takes me a long time to buy them but yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and use the setting powder with it because why not and blush and highlighter and contour so be right back. so i finished the look and by the way if you guys have not picked up the highlighters the highlighters are like really good like look at the pigment look at that only for a dollar y'all a dollar and look how pigmented is this gold tell you don't sleep on shop don't sleep on uh, shop miss a just like how i used to say don't sleep on shop push don't sleep on shop miss a because the pigmented the pigmentation is good like especially from like the aoa studio line some of the products from the aoa studio line are really good like don't let the price fool you okay it's not like dollar tree where you got you know some dollar tree makeup that is terrible okay okay you got some good quality makeup for a dollar from the aoa line okay but anyways i try my best to bronze up my face the best i can with my fenty beauty bronzer and it didn't really work as well this foundation is still looking like yellow on my face but you know what i, I can't do nothing about it um i would just have to get a shade that's one shade darker two shades darker that was supposedly for me because the i mean the color range like the range of the colors that they have is uh i don't know you know but i would when i do order from shopping city again i would definitely get um i don't know what i would get because i thought soft tan would be the shade for me but it's not i see why now people would buy two two of the foundations in different colors because man the pictures really trick you but anyways like i said that's my review on this the primer feels really nice so i'll recommend trying the primer and i really like the concealer is a lot better than the first concealer that they came out with honestly so i would recommend this concealer as well the foundation i would recommend too but if you don't like that tacky feeling on your face you might not like it but once you put you know the setting powder on your face and everything you don't really feel that tacky feeling anymore so and it doesn't even feel heavy on your face either so but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new click the notification if you haven't follow me on my social medias and description box down below and yeah i'll see you guys next video bye guys nice. to mention that it also came in this bag now before um shot miss a used to come in like a black little baggie but now i guess they're doing that but yeah that's just what i wanted to mention real quick so yeah see you guys next video Christian Dior, Dior, I'm up in all the stores When it rains, it pours, she like the way I heard